Why wouldn't they give him his key? Were you up there when it happened? That's kind of why I'm looking into this. Right. Okay. Will you guys get in trouble for being here talking to me? <laughs> no. I'll, I'll, I don't want to get you guys in trouble. No, we'll never get in trouble. All right. Yeah. They had the canine? They put the dogs on him. They brought him in here and it didn't make no sense because it's not like this was just a restaurant. And he lived here. So. They brought canine unit? Oh. Yeah, they the canine Were they barking and shit? Yeah. All right. I'm going to go down here and do some more. I'm going to report on this. So, yeah, I wonder if we're going to be freaking out. Who's that talking to me? You can see you the windows broken like right there in the office. Me, the and that's bitch. the window that was broken. Tell me, bitch, get out. That was the window that was broken in the office. I don't care. You don't have the right to do that. You Dude, do, do you stay here? So are you going to waste the police's time? Yes, I am. Are you an employee or a resident? Uh, that, it's none of your business what I am. But you don't belong here. Is she an employee you or a resident? You don't belong here. Property. Get off property. I'm okay. calling the police. Okay, it's not private property if everybody yes, could is. just calm down. Yes, it is. Is she an employee? Doesn't is matter what I am. Or a You've been asked to leave. Is she an employee? It doesn't or a matter. You cannot film. Okay, I can't you film. film here. It's illegal. And we've already gone through this. You can call your director and ask them. Okay, it's best if we don't escalate this. Okay, is she an employee or a resident? Uh, I'm assuming you're an employee. Gentlemen, over at the okay. That is illegal. Well. You guys are going to find out here in a few minutes since you're calling the police. I'm going to stay and they're going to leave before I do. We didn't need to escalate this. I'm here to report on the story that happened here. And so if this is a resident, I would advise you to help her de escalate because this is going to end up in, okay? I would ask you to help her de escalate, okay? Because well, this is allowed to happen. This is allowed to happen. Permission. That is illegal. We've already gone through it's this. Illegal. You're not going to help her de escalate this? What is your name? What is your name? What is your name? Can you please leave? Leave, dude. We're going to keep doing this here. over and over and over. He won't leave. I'm not like, leaving. He's been asked by staff. I'm not leaving. I'm it here to report on a story. And I'm going to report on that story here without all the escalation. No, sorry, she's there No. And we're going to report on you we're too. Gonna, what is your name, sir? We're going to report on this story. What is your name, sir? Ma'am, you have no right. What is to your have, name, sir? You don't have a right coming over here doing I'm this. So what is your name? You're asking everybody's name. What is your motherfucking name? Help this de escalate. If you would help de escalate this, you need to help de escalate this. You need to help de escalate this. You need to leave. De escalate this. I am a reporter reporting on news that, just that happened here escalate. last night. And I'm going to do that. Of your business. Are you a reporter? I'm going to do that. Are you a reporter? I'm going to do that. You could de escalate this situation, but you're choosing not to. I'm going to let James know how this went. Because you guys really need to understand that you need to de escalate this situation. It would just escalate everything. <laughs> I'm not leaving. I'm going to do my story. I have, and when I have the police are done right here, I'm going to do my story without all of this, okay? When the police are done here, I'm going to do my story without all of this, okay? 
I he walked looks up like here. An old gnarly white dude with a beard, bald. He kind of looks like you, maybe you can't, he belongs with the area. You're not gonna try to de-escalate this at all. He actually looks like he's why don't somebody oh, try to de-escalate this? He's wearing an orange shirt and a blue vest. Why doesn't any of you try to de-escalate this? Because you aren't supposed to be here. None of you try to de-escalate this at all. Because you aren't supposed to be here. Ma'am. De-escalate and leave. Ma'am. No, not ma'am. You off. started with me. Fuck off. I'll... You've been asked to leave. Fuck <laughs> okay, off. I hope you're on the phone to the police. Tell them I'm not leaving. Uh, he said, my name is Carrie Martinez. He's saying that he's not Thank going you, to Thank you, Carrie. Leave. I appreciate you telling me your name. So we're going to find out who Carrie Martinez is, and if she's a staff member here, we're going to deal with this appropriately because she was just cussing and raising hell with me. The whole reason I came out here was to report on the fact that... <laughs> See? And, and I think they're going to tell you... I think they're going to tell you... He has to get our permission. No, I don't. No, I don't. And you're going to learn that. You all are going to learn that. I'm not fucking around here anymore. You all are going to learn that. He's not going to leave. He's not going to leave. This didn't need to happen, and you didn't need to escalate this. I came over here to report on a story, and I can't report on the story with you yelling obscenities in the background. Oh, okay. I don't, see, I don't feel safe leaving him here just to fuck around and do whatever he wants. If he is a member of the journalistic community, then he knows better than to just take fucking random pictures of people that have not given him permission to do so. I think the police are educating her right now. I we'll see how this educated, goes. And you've been asked to leave. I think this is private property. You want sounds to, to me leave. like the police aren't going to really send anybody out here and they're trying to tell Actually, her to calm I down. There's somebody on the way right now. Okay. Well, we'll see when they show okay, up. Okay. We'll see, Mr. Aryan Nation. Go on. Aryan Nation? That's what you look like. You look like do you hear this, people? Do you hear this? Yes, I do. Down here when I'm standing. This is a white Bye, person sir. calling me Aryan Nation. Bye, sir. You didn't have Bye, to do sir. any of this. Bye, sir. You didn't have to Bye, do sir. any of this. Bye, if you would go away, I could do my story Bye, and sir. leave. Bye, sir. I'd be happy to just do my story and leave. He's having an issue here. What? If you guys would help de-escalate this, it would help. Please, 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 please. Is that a staff member yes, or, an, no. or a resident? See, this is what I'm talking about. The staff members are so uneducated about shit, they can't de-escalate stuff. The first guy that walked up here would have done his damn job and de-escalated the situation. None of this would have happened. But he comes out here barking orders at me. He comes out here barking orders at me. So let's see if the police are going to show up. Okay. Now, as I said, I came here to report on the broken window in the staff's office. This window was broken last night as a result of an individual coming in here. And apparently there was an ax thrown or a hatchet thrown through the window. And uh, as a result of that, from what I'm understanding from staff members, well, <laughs> as a result of that, what I'm understanding from residents and others that were here is that this was a situation where staff couldn't de-escalate a situation. We're having a hard time resolving the fact that the young man is in jail right now on an aggravated robbery charge. Um, Criminal damage to property is one of the charges, and we can understand that. Assault, maybe, it, uh, if there's a staff member inside and the weapon came through the window. Yeah, but the aggravated uh, robbery charge is what they're holding him on, and they have a no bond on that. And the problem is, that's a made-up charge that they're holding on right now. So they've got a no bond hold on an aggravated burglary charge that didn't really happen. Now what we're understand now what we're understanding more about what happened here was that the individual came to the pallet village and went inside and from what we're understanding of the rules about the, how the pallet village operates is that when individuals leave they turn in a key to staff and that's more to uh, help staff keep track of when they come and go to know who's here and who's not 
And uh, so with all that going on, we understand that he went to the uh, office there and tried to get his key. Um, and something escalated out of control to the point where he ended up throwing the ax through the window. And so can't help them de-escalate either. You were in here for all that? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? And now here's Mitch. What's Mitch doing over here? What exactly is Mitch here for? So Mitch is still involved with homeless people. Let's hurry up and get that window fixed quick so nobody knows about it, right, Mitch? That's damned interesting. That's damned interesting. Boy, he got over here on a moped to fix that window. That's impressive. That is absolutely impressive. Now we're gonna stand by and see if he actually follows through with clean fixing that window completely. Look at that. face on it. He shows up out here to fix that window as soon as I come out here to think how you like that. That's cool. I'm gonna almost bet he's gonna go back there and get a window out of a different unit and bring it up here to swap this out. <laughs> we gotta get over here to get a good get a good view of this coming out. Thank you. 
City carry an extra insurance for you, Mitch? No helmet, open toed, shit, man. That's nice. Wonder if risk management knows. Yeah, okay. This didn't need to happen, man. None of this needed to happen. We're going to settle it. Come on over here. We're going to make them understand today. Because I sent a message to James asking him for cops and told him that I was coming over here to report on the incident last night, which I tried to explain to people here. But we had nothing but a person here that I don't even know if it's a staff member or not, Kerry Martinez, and the staff member in there losing his day of life. For no reason. I thought we went over this last week on the 13th. Are you not speed on what's happening out here? Sergeant Gage, speed. We went over this last week. All of us, staff here, police, not to call, the whole nine yards. We went over this last week, and, and there's no staff training happening here. She, ask Shelby Brogan. She was all she was here with them. But, but you guys aren't communicating because we went over this. Huh? Well, they brought you out here. What is? What do you want to tell me, if anything, about? I'm assuming you were out here filming. I'm just. Assuming. I came here to report on that window getting broke from last okay. night, okay. and why a man that's never violent gets charged with aggravated robbery over something like that here and why this staff can't de-escalate. Now, it's kind of interesting that I show up to report on the staff inability to de-escalate, and I can find a facial example of that right here. So you're out here reporting on this incident, what would you do? I, well, I couldn't. As I walked up and started to report, the woman in the, in the blue shirt loses her mind. And so there's, there's where we're at. I came here to do news gathering. And that's exactly what I was doing. And when I was finished, I left. When you guys showed up here, I didn't think you were going to come because it sounded like they had de-escalated enough. But I'm damn sure not going to be the one that leaves before you guys. They're going to leave. You guys are all going to leave before I do because they need to understand that I'm allowed to be here reporting on this. Yes, I am. All the way up to this fence. And I'm able to do this as well. Go in there and tell them that. Let me go in there. It's dumb that we have to do this repeatedly. You got an officer out here wanting in. Staff did nothing to try to de-escalate this. Even, even uh, the person that's supposed to be in charge, Juniper, she drove out of here in the middle of it and did nothing. to. And she was here the other day. So she knew that there was nothing wrong going on and she did absolutely nothing to de-escalate this. That's why I'm going to be here reporting more and more and more is because this staff knows nothing about de-escalation. The young woman right there that's talking to her right now did a decent job, pulled her aside and got things under control. The rest of them did nothing but amp. I can't believe Juniper just literally pulled out of here in the middle of that without doing anything to de-escalate the situation. That's the person that you have in charge out here, James. The person that runs from it instead of facing it head on and taking care of the problem. You knew I was coming up. I gave you a heads up and gave you opportunity to comment. You could have gave your staff a heads up that I was going to be out here, but you chose not to do that. And so your staff runs out right in the middle of the leader that's in charge of this place just runs out of here and leaves the contract to the police and her staff to get them. That is unacceptable. That is entirely unacceptable.
guys aren't done explaining yet. Finish up. Make sure she understands it before you freaking leave. Yes, he can. And you standing in the doorway, you could have gotten rid of this whole problem, but you chose to escalate it as well. The whole point is to show you that you can't stop me. The whole point is to show you that you can't stop me. You need to learn this constitutional lesson today. Then none of this needed to happen. I came here to do a news report and leave. And his staff threw a fit. So here's where we are. Make sure your people understand I'm going to be back. This is going to happen repeatedly. You're going to have to get used to it. I wonder if we got him educated this time. Are we sure? Yeah, I think so. Do they get it? I think so. I think, I think that the staff understands it. I think that the, one of the people that is upset is arrested. Okay. And but the problem is, is the tall uh, Indian-looking guy with the okay. black shirt. Yeah. He walked up here and did nothing but yell at me, just like oh, she God. did. Well, that would be something that. Yeah, I'm going to take that up with James. But but does the staff and hold on, hold on, names, hold on, hold on, names, names, Hunter, 
Is that Hunter? Okay. Corbett. Because because Shelby Brohard was out here the other day and went through all this with him. And so this is bullshit. And Juniper was here. And in the middle of this, Juniper literally drove out of here and ran off instead of. Oh, Juniper's the step. She's the one that's supposed to be in charge. Well, but she, I in the middle of all this, she runs off and she was here the other day and knows what happened. Yeah. And okay. so she could have, she could have resolved this at that point in time without you guys getting called, right. but she chose to let this escalate because it's me hoping that I would get arrested out of it. Have we all taught them a lesson that there's not going to be any restraining orders, that there's not going to be any violation of me out here? I mean, the bottom line is you know this almost been explaining that's your own public property. What I don't want is you guys getting called out here every time I show up. I believe it was this was a resident. And that's and in the fine. Police shirt that was very upset. And I get upset. And your dispatcher, I heard I heard her talking to the dispatcher. The dispatcher tried repeatedly to de-escalate the situation with her. And the problem is, is none of the staff here were doing that. Okay. And if the dispatcher can do it on the phone with her and the, the people here can't, the dispatcher's not going to have any any ability to do anything other than to send you out. This has to be resolved with these people. And you need your commander, your sergeant. You need to go to your lieutenant and you need to tell them that we have a problem here with the people here understanding what the police's responsibility is. And so that we can quit wasting your resources. Okay. We can quit creating this big scene for right. all the neighbors. Right. Because I came in here to simply report on that broken window and the fact that a man's charged with aggravated robbery. Really? Really? You know, but that's crazy. He was here looking for his key. And and I found out about this. I had time today to come over here and take a look. It's funny. As soon as I show up, Mitch shows up on a moped to take take a look at fixing that window suddenly. I get things done. And and that window will be fixed. But we can't have this happen all the time. Well, I don't Would you go to command staff sure. and address this this I'm way? Gonna, I'll, I'll talk to Fowler about this uh, I'm not. When I left, he's okay. the major in charge of the patrol division, and I'm, I'm not back off this, this camp because everything that bad happened over there is going to happen here. It's going to be a triangle. We can't see it. That man right there. It's a misunderstanding of the law. It's a misunderstanding. We went through this and thought of 13 times. I understand. I understand.